Hello. I promised to do a tutorial and I uh, haven't made it so I'm making it right now. Um, this is uh, how I ma mastered um, uh, my Tune tripod. Um, you can see here that I, it looks a bit weird, it should be only you know one audio track like this and then everything here, but the thing is I, uh, when I rendered out my, my track I noticed that uh, the drop was way too quiet so what I did was I took I don't think it, there's anything, no, there's nothing on this track, so this is useless. Um, so here's the, here's the verse here. Damn it, why won't it play? And you can see here that I, okay, I boosted the volume only a tiny bit. Um, but yeah, I thought it needed that. So yeah, that's what that is. Um, and also I added a lot of samples here that w weren't there from the start here. Um, I'll get to that a bit later. But that's like the voice samples, I think. I'm just gonna see what this is. What the hell? Okay, so I added some sound effects and stuff uh, in the mastering process, which I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't do that, but I did. Um, so here's the Ozone 5. That's the presets that pops up. I'm gonna do a separate tutorial for how to use this uh, monster plugin, which is awesome. Not only for mastering, but for uh, sound design as well. Um, so yeah, I I have the... Um, um, the limiter here is... It, is pushing it pretty hard. Uh, the settings here are are uh, you know almost default. I just push this down, and maybe you shouldn't push this to zero. Um, there are a couple of reasons for th reasons for that, but I I don't know them. <laughs> well, I just heard that you shouldn't put this at zero because uh, on some systems that might ruin the sound. I think it's good to have uh, some headroom even at the final process. So m uh, minus uh, 0 0.3 uh, here is um, good. So I usually have that, but uh, yeah, for this, I don't know why I had it like that. Um, da -da 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 -da. And yeah, I just push this down so that this is nothing fancy at all. Um, reverb, yeah, I tend to, to use uh, some reverb on my masters, on my masters. Um, when the um, when the tune doesn't have any reverb at all, because when it has, it, it it's unnecessary to do that. But this is just a tiny bit, and it also adds some. If you listen to this, if I solo the wet, it adds some. It adds some atmosphere. I should have put this up a bit, but I don't know. I guess it worked. You should have some pre-delay because otherwise that might mess with the sound, I think. Um, and I put this width thing here at uh, around 150, I find uh, makes it sound really wide. Um. <laughs> you can barely hear a difference. Maybe I should remove everything. It seems like something I should have done from the start. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, it sounds much qu more quiet. Maybe I should boost the volume so you get the... <laughs> Lacks a lot of body and um, um, bass, I think. Um, I'm just gonna add all of these in. This harmonic exciter is awesome. Um, it Basically, it, it d distorts the sound with different algorithms here to the left. Um, like, you know, t tape um, saturation and tube distortion and stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, what I did, uh, um, what I do sometimes is that I put this bass um, distortion thing up uh, to uh, an absurd level uh, and then mix it in here so that I get some cool harmonics if you listen to... And then if you have it here, you you get like a much bigger and warm bass. Here. Well, 
I'll just solo this so we don't get the sound effect. You can definitely hear uh, a difference if you have good speakers. You, you need to have that, that if you're watching this. So I just mixed it in just to add something there. This adds something too. I'm not really sure what, but some, some distortion, some nice harmonics. Um, can barely hear a difference. Um, but yeah, just some, some harmonics. If I would remove just these so we can hear. You can hear that it sounds louder and more exciting, I guess, is it's a good word for it. And you can just m mess around with this as much as you can and go through the presets and see how uh, other people have done this. Uh, I think I need to speed this up a bit. Um, for the dynamics, I don't know if I... Yeah, I think I... Uh, I don't know if I took this from a preset or if I just remembered the preset and then made it after that because I put one seven on, on all of them. If you go here in presets and you choose... Uh, dance, Clubmaster, Crisp Drums, Wind Transient Recovery, High Latency. Uh, if you put that one on, uh, you're gonna get this. The, you're gonna get that. Um, that uh, those settings in the com compression. Uh, maybe this is just that preset, but I hope not, because then this would be a waste of time, almost. Yeah. Um, stereo imaging. That's uh, well. I don't know what, what what to say here because I I don't know much about compression, but uh, this just makes everything sound a bit more tight, I guess. Uh, moving on, um, stereo imaging here. You, this is really cool. You want to make the bass here, uh, like this is four bands, and uh, you can increase the width of them. So you want the bass to look like that, not you know all wide. Especially if you're gonna play this in the, in a club, you always want the bass to be mono. So I just took you know sh choose something here that I wanted to be <coughs> mono from uh, as low as you can go to uh, 140. I wanted to be the bass to be mono, and here I just it can be a good idea to put this down a tiny bit too, but uh, in some cases I I put this up as well. Um, and yeah, I haven't touched this one. But oh, you can see here that it's pretty wide already. But if it's not, you can put it up like that. So uh, I don't know. Uh, wide is often sounds good. So you can hear that it's a huge difference there. But um, yeah, and that's also good in in uh, in uh, sound design too. If you want to make a synth sound uh, bigger, you can use this. Um, for the EQ, yeah, I just boosted the top end to again make it more exciting. And yeah, I guess that's that, that's it for this. Um, uh, do, 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 do. I'm just gonna see if I if I added something on the mastering. Holy fuck! Yeah, I did. I had no idea. Okay, so basically, this is just a limiter. <laughs> There's, for me at least, there's just two two knobs for me. Uh, I put the ceiling at uh, the number I talked to you about before, uh, minus 1.3, and then put down the threshold as far as you can go without hearing any bad stuff. You can hear that that sounds shit. So I just went as far as I th thought I could go. Um, and then here's something cool that I, uh, this is uh, actually a good tip. Um, if you use this plugin, which is Waves uh, Vintage Vintage Exciter, um, if you put this on parallel, uh, parallel, I guess you know what that means. But uh, basically, you do uh, like two chains, at least here in Ableton. In Logic, you use buses and stuff. But yeah, uh, so this one is totally clean. This doesn't have the <laughs> And this one has the uh, the full effect of the sound, and then I just mixed it mixed it in, so you can hear that this sounds really you know high pitched and weird. So I just put that on very 
very quiet, minus 13 something. <laughs> so it just boosted the high end and even more. And then I took the volume down a bit and I don't know, I, I wanted to try to use different limiters just to, uh, you know, put a limiter on and then uh, dip the volume in with with this one. And then uh, put another limiter on and I wanted to try that, but uh, I couldn't get the sound any more louder than this. Uh, again, I, I, I'm not uh, good at mastering, <laughs> you know, I just, I don't know, maybe this could help someone to at least make decent mixes. So here, again, I did the same thing with this L1, uh, minus uh, 0.3 and then put this down. And I guess this this mix sounds decent, uh, at least for me. Uh, so what I did here with these plugins, this I think that's the only thing I need to cover now. Um, for the second drop uh, duh, 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 here, I glitched it up, I think. If I put here, yeah, you can see this automation stuff here. What I did was, I wanted this to be a bit more exciting because it was just boring to go to go back to the same drop, um, which I essentially do. So, <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. I just glitched it up. <laughs> I think it sounds cool. Here it loses the first kick, but I don't think it does that on the. What the hell? That was weird. Um, so yeah, I, I just automated that stuff. But yeah, um, -do 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 -do. I think that's it. If you have any questions, just, just let me know. Um, and I'll make a better tutorial where I explain mastering a bit better. If I can. Okay, see you later.